Are there any more anywhere? No, oh, that's a cow. Well, I think that's all of them. Just in case. Uh, dog killer. That should be all of them. So, I think we can leave. I've killed all the dumb dogs. I knew you'd be able to handle it. Let's see how I owe you a thousand for completing the job. Of course, one Brahmin got killed due to your carelessness. Hundred per Brahmin. Your reward is nine hundred. Don't even bother to lie about the number of Brahmin killed. I had one of my boys follow you out and watch from a distance. Without charging me if any Brahmin died. Why you convenient old cute? Ah, uh, mark my words, this is the last time you get the best of me. Thanks, Pops. Pleasure doing business. You never said anything about charging me if any Brahmin died. I didn't? Are you sure? I could have sworn I told you. Maybe next time you won't go accepting jobs until you know all the details. Now, if you don't mind, I have other work to attend to. Eh, 900 still isn't bad. I don't think I could have gotten away with not having any die. But Jesus. That was a battle. That got me several times, and I just... Ugh. I don't know. Really kind of was you know, pissing me off, really. Alright, what else can we do around here? Who are you? Hello there, stranger. I'm Myra. Uh, what do you do around here? What can you tell me about the slaughterhouse? Heard any good rumors? Oh, I heard any good rumors. This town is so boring, there's nothing else to do but gossip, and she keeps talking for a while, and sometime later you're able to get a word in. You mentioned something about Rose. What about a mutated Brahmin? Tell me about Davin. Let's talk about something else. Uh, you mentioned something about Rose. Ah, Rose, the proprietor of Rose's bed and breakfast. Now, you didn't hear it from me, but have you ever wondered why her coop is so well protected? She says it's to protect her chickens from predators, but if you look closely, it looks like she's trying to keep something in rather than out. Plus, who ever heard of chickens laying 12-pound eggs? Alright. You mentioned something about a mutated Brahmin. But I hear some ranchers say that every once in a while, a Brahmin will give birth to a calf with only one head. Talk about... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's mutated. Tell me about Devin. He's family. I don't spread rumors about my own family. Alright. Let's talk about something else. What do you do around here? Who me? I do odd jobs here and there. Surely nothing worth it talking about flutters her eyes at you you're right enough talk let's get on you know what I want you know you want it what you're right enough talk let's get it on you know you want it can I ask you some what oh up hey you know <laughs> oh gosh Kind of curious. Uh, sir, I was just... I'm going to assume that, uh, there are a couple. Well, this was amusing. Bess, are you following me around? <laughs> Bess the cow, following me around. Uh, are you not going to attack me then? No, he's not, apparently. They're all just gonna wander around. Flailing their arms? Alright. Well, I'm done with that then. That was amusing. Slightly. Well then. Let's see here. Bess is just gonna follow me around. I think I got a new uh, party member. Uh, it's a Brahmin. Bess the Brahmin.
I see a handsome young man. Run the slaughterhouse in Monarch. I'm the owner's son after I'm going to inherit this place when my dad kicks off. I hear rumors about you and the Brahmin. Tell me about your dad. It's a lie. I only get to the barn at night to uh, make sure everything is locked up, you know, with all the wild animals around and all. There's a ramen, a, a ramen. There's a rumor apparently that he's uh, doing questionable things with the Brahmin. That's uh, kind of gross. Um, tell me about your dad. He's okay. His father's go. What advice? If you do any business, there's usually more to his business deals than he lets on. All right. All right, so let's see here. We could go check out that chicken. Although I don't know where B and B is. There's the slaughterhouse. There's all the Brahmin. B and B. There's a tannery. We go over there. I want to go see the tannery. Who are you? I see a traitor. I want to go up here to the tannery. Hello? See uh, an apt wearing a leather apron? My name's Balthus. I run a tannery here in Mado. Can I help you? See your wares? I'll be back. I'm searching for an item called a Gek. Do you by chance know anything about it or how I might obtain one? I'll be back later. I have some questions for you. What do you have? Uh, he's got some armor. What can I sell? Alright. In fact, how much is that? 2,000? How much can I sell all these guns for? thousand two hundred there. Fact. I can add in a hundred over. Here we go. Two twenty six. So five more. Two thirty one. Offer. That's a good trade. You got a bunch of stock. I got some armor that I can give to my people think I think it was a good trade all right people you I wish to barter oh he's already wearing a leather jacket look at you trade there we go I want you to wear that. That'll give him a little bit more defense. Trade. He ain't wearing anything. Alright, there we go. I want you to have that. And apparently another gun, maybe? That's it for now. Alright, alright, alright. So, where do I need to be going? Who are you? Balthus's wife. Sniff. Her son is missing. Balthus, why didn't you mention your son? Alright then. Apparently he's not too bothered about missing his son. 
Who else is around town? I don't see anyone, really. Is there another section? In fact, there's my... Let's make it uh, noon. There we go. Another section of town, perhaps? Yep, there we go. Who are you, townsperson? There's Rose's bed and breakfast thing. Hello, miss. Welcome to Rose's bed and breakfast. Bye, aren't you strapping, young man? What can Rose help you with? I'm starved. What do you eat around here? I like to run a room? You hear things working here? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Quite busy serving customers. Maybe you order something. I'll have to chat with you in between orders. In that case, I'm starving. What do you have to eat? That's what I like to hear. Growing little boy needs to keep the strength. I can tell you haven't been eating properly. You just sit down and look at the menu. Water, a thousand. Wasteland omelet, twenty-five. Brahmin fries. It is then we have a contest on who can eat the most Brahmin fries. So far, the record is thirty-six. If you break the record, you don't have to pay the tab for your meal. You look like you'd be able to beat the record with no problem. Are you interested in trying? I'm so hungry. You'll probably double that score. Bring it on. Oh, that's grand. Each order consists of ten pieces. I'll have to ask you for money up front. I refuse to... As soon as you break the record, that'll be twenty dollars, please. Sure, I'll get it back when I break the record. Comes back with a heaping platter of Brahmin fries. They are not quite what you expected. They appear to be about the size of golf balls, covered in batter, fried in oil to keep cold brown. You take a tentative bite of one of the fries. These are delicious. You start into the meal with zeal. Around the 34th fly, fry, you start to feel the effects of overeating. The crowd is gathered to witness the historic events of the old record being broken. In an attempt to regain your composure, you strike a, a conversation with Rose. Pop a fire on the Don't talk with your mouth full, dear. You, can you prepare these if it's not a secret or anything? I know some people back home would love these. It's no secret. You just dip them in batter and some salt and fry and grease. How do you prepare the Brahma meat? It's such a unique te texture. That's 37. You just broke the record. The crowd cheers. You feel like you've gotten your second wind and pop another fry in your mouth. 38. Well, what makes our taste so special is that you have to harvest it while the Brahmin is still alive. Just grab the Brahmin by the... Oh! Snip four with one cut. You've got to be careful. The Brahmin usually get riled up at that point. The 38th Brahmin tidbit must have been going at the speed of light as it suddenly forcefully propelled from your mouth. We can't count that last one, but you broke the record at 37. Here's your money back. You feel sick. <laughs> uh, I've been poisoned. Great. Um, wasteland omelet, I guess. Or no. Wait, yeah. Omelet. So I hope you're hungry. I guarantee that you've tasted an omelet like this anywhere. She leaves and returns with the biggest damn omelet you've ever seen. You feel revitalized after such a big meal. Well, what the heck? I'm supposed to t try and talk to her while I'm eating, right? We'll try shepherd's stew. Sure, but make it quick, dear. I don't want to... the other customers. Okay, so, uh... One you serve. What kind of animal lays such a large egg? Ah, oh, you've had the dessert omelet. Uh, delicious, wasn't it? Some people say it's healing properties. Um, oh, some customer just came in. I'll be right back. Hmm, she never answered your question. Okay. What do you know about the ghost farm? Stay away from there. I've heard tales that travelers about rotting bodies tied to stakes and glowing shapes moving through the fields at night. But I do know a while back, Carl moved out there and hasn't been seen since. Try Canis Burger. Doesn't know anything about a Gek. Alright, well, goodbye. Hmm. Anyone else I can run into? Trader. Trader. An old man. I'd be able to talk to him. 
Hello, you. What the heck? I just went through the door. Let me through the door, sir. Um, sir. Hello, who are you? I want to go talk to this old man. This guy ain't budging, though. What's your problem? Bass! Oh, jeez, I'm stuck. Oh, jeez. I'm even more st Bass! This cow is in love with me! Moo! Moo, get out the way! Get out the way, Bess! I've been trapped. Bess ain't moving. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, this is... This is interesting. What you be need? I need you to get Bess out of the way. Oh dear. Well, this is definitely interesting. Um... How am I, uh, how am I going to deal with this? Well, uh, don't, she doesn't feel like moving. Bess, get out of my way. Bess, you stupid cow! These cows here! These cows in this damn place have something against me. Bess, move! I don't want to hit you. I really don't. Move! Haha, <laughs> you see what I did there? Move, Bess. I really don't want to hit. Please don't tell me Bess is after me now. Bess, just run away. Bess, just run away. Bess, just run away. Bess. Move, Bess. You stupid cow. I didn't want to kill you. God damn it. Bess, no. For fuck's sake. I just wanted to talk to this man. I just... <sighs> I don't want to move. I don't want to kill you, Bess. How do I... How am I going to get Bess to move? Bess, you dumb cow! Move! Ah! I don't want to kill Bess. She's become such a nice part of the team. I mean, she helped me fight those cows earlier. Or not the cows, but she helped me. Well, she helped me, anyway. What did that do? Did Bess go to... She 
just laid down in the middle of the ground. Is she really gonna sleep right now? There she goes. No. Oh, it wasn't enough. Keep going. Keep moving. There we go. I don't know how I did it, but apparently that gets her to lay down or something. I don't know. I saved Bess. I feel happy. I feel real happy. Saved Bess. Alright, there we go. Welcome to Rose's Bed and Breakfast. My name is Rose. I, I mean Cornelius, and I run this bed and breakfast. Can I help you? If you're on this place, then how come it's called Rose's Bed and Breakfast? Rose is my wife. I named this place after her. Did you did you know I'm married? Uh, can I ask you some more questions? So I asking you something? Uh, hi, my name is Cornelius. Okay, this guy's lost his... Lost his mind, probably. Uh... What do you do here? Who's Rose? I'm interested in getting a room. You need some serious help, old man. You'll help me? That's great. Go beat up Farrell and get my watch back. He probably hit it good, so tear his house apart and look for it. Uh, what are you talking about? Look, I don't want any part of this. Kill Farrell, get watch back. Got it, I'll be right back. Uh, what are you talking about? A while back, I forget when. My best friend of 30, or was it 40 years? Oh, it doesn't matter. What matters is that he stole my precious gold pocket watch. It has been handed down to my family for five generations. Uh, five, no six, or four generations, yep. I distinctly remember setting it down on my desk when I was looked on the kitchen table. It, then when I looked on the kitchen table, it was gone. Did you try looking for it on your desk? Yes, yes, I've looked on my... I looked in my sock drawer, it's not there either. I keep a lookout for your watch while I'm in town. I have a watch. It was a gold watch. I wonder where I put it. This guy is insane. He has totally lost his marbles, that one. Oh no, Bess. Bess, what are you doing? Bess. <laughs> Bess, you shouldn't come into buildings. Go on, Bess. Move along. Bess. <laughs> Move along, Bess. <laughs> come on, you can do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this cow. <laughs> Hey, I'm the only one allowed to go through the lost inf- Uh, why? Move along, Bess. Bess. <laughs> Bess, please. Can I look in this, uh... I'll steal from it. Oh. I might be. My bad. Bess! Move along, Bess! Keep walking. Oh. Oh dear. Bess, I cannot leave! Move! You dumb cow. Mercy, mercy. Can I loot this now? I didn't have shit in it. There we go. Thank you, Bess. Look, I'm leaving. It's okay. If the stupid cow would get out of my way, I'd be gone. Look, see? I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm gone. I'm out of here. There's no reason to be mad. Frickin' Bess. Jesus, this goddamn cow. Just Jesus. I'm gonna probably reload so that I don't have half the town mad at me. Where was my last? Yeah, I was. I should be fine. In fact, I think I'm gonna take a quick break here for a moment.